Hello, and welcome to this video presentation on how to automatically create and use CRUD procedures in Apex SQL Complete. This feature allows for automatically creating select, insert, update, and delete stored procedures using customizable templates. To create CRUD procedures, right-click on a table or database in Object Explorer and choose the Create CRUD Procedures command in the context menu. This will generate code in a new query tab, and the generated code will look similar to this. Now, when this code is executed, the four procedures, Select, Insert, Update, Delete, for the chosen table will be created. The CRUD procedure feature is located under the CRUD tab of the Options dialog of Apex SQL Complete with four subtabs for each of the CRUD procedure templates, Select, Insert, Update, Delete. The Stored Procedure Script template is customizable and is designed by using named variables, for example, column list, that will be replaced with exact object names, schemas, table names, column name, in the process of generating a specific stored procedure. All available variables can be manually entered by typing the name of the variable, for example, input parameter, or from the context menu by clicking on the desired variable. The schema name variable is for the name of the schema, for example, DBO. The input parameter variable generates a list of parameters. The name of the parameters will be made up of the names of columns for the selected table. The WHERE clause variable sets a condition for the particular CRUD procedure. For example, for the DELETE CRUD procedure, a user enters the value, like 1, for the identity column for which row will be deleted. The COLUMN LIST variable lists all the columns from a chosen table. The COLUMN LIST INSERT variable lists all columns from the chosen table in the INSERT CRUD procedure. The insert column values variable generates parameters for the values which will be passed to an insert statement for the insert CRUD procedure. The update column list variable lists all columns for the chosen table in the update CRUD procedures. By clicking the default template button, the default settings for the particular CRUD procedure will be reset, overriding any changes that have been made. The procedure name by default is created with the CRUD prefix followed by the table name variables, which is a placeholder for the name of the table based in which the CRUD procedure is created. For example, address type. For the suffix, there is the procedure type variable, which will be replaced with the name of the CRUD subtab which the user is currently using. Select in this case. Just for illustrative purposes, let's delete the default value in the procedure name box and enter Select All Data, and press the OK button. Now, let's generate some code to see results of our settings. Select a table, email address in this example, under the Object Explorer. Right-click and choose the Create CRUD Procedures option. As you can see, the name for the select procedure is Select All Data, while other names for CRUD procedures for that table will stay the same. Now, when the script is executed, the CRUD procedures will be created for the email address table. If you want to exclude a CRUD procedure type, for example, selects from CRUD procedure generation, uncheck the Include Select CRUD Procedure checkbox. Now, when the Create CRUD Procedures option is used, the select procedure will not be generated for the chosen table. With the Creating CRUD Procedures option from Apex SQL Complete, you can create fully customizable template-based CRUD procedures for a particular table quickly and efficiently without typing any code. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.